Hey everyone, today we'll see how to render in Fusion. Hi, my name is Mohit from tenikacreations.com. Let's get started. So the most frequently asked question is how to render out of Fusion. I even came across a rant video about Fusion in which the guy was complaining about Fusion not being able to render out in the most common formats out there. So here I'm going to show you how to render in MP4. MOV and AVI formats. I'll also be showing you how we can render out videos with alpha information, plus how to render an image sequence, which is quite straightforward. Here I have a very simple comp, just like that. So I'm going to select this merge one, and just like a loader node is required to load anything into Fusion, we need a saver node to save something out or render something out. So I'm going to select this SV saver node, click on that and this window pops up. I'm going to close it for now. So here is our saver node. I'm going to delete that. We can also shift space bar, saver node, saver, uh, close it. So in the properties window, we have the output format to Targa files. Over here, we can select the location where we want our render to go. So I'm going to click on this browse button. And this is exactly where I want the video to go. So check over here. I have named the file end.png. So if I save it here, you can see the output format has changed to PNG files. We'll come to this. But before that, I want to show you how we can render out video formats. So under the output format, I'm going to select QuickTime Movies. And then for the codex, I'm going to select this format tab. The compression is set to S264. The quality is 100. I'll just let it be as it is. Go back to File. And then we are all set. Before that, I'm going to set the render range to just 100 frames. Then click on this render button. Start render. So we get the confirmation of the render completion. So I click on OK. So I'm going to go to the file browser. And here we have our video. You'll see at the bottom, the file is called end.mov. So we have an MOV file. So go back to Fusion. So MOV, MP4, AVI, all these are containers. So to explain that, I'm going to simply change this MOV to MP4. And then I'm not going to change any other settings and then render the video. Start render. Render completed. OK. Go to the file browser and you'll see that we have another video file which says end.mp4. Go back to Fusion and instead of mp4, this time I'm going to set it to avi and render, start render. Render completed and in the file browser, we have an AVI file end.avi. So as you noticed, I've just changed the container names and we have the AVI, MOV and MP4 files. Next, I want to show you how to render out videos with alpha information. Now, if you check over here, this portion, we can see that there is alpha information for this comp. So I'm going to go to the format and change this H264 to animation. And here you can see that attempt to save alpha is checked. So go back to file and instead of your AVL kind of maybe MOV. Yeah, we'll go with MOV. I'll also change this name. So alpha render it start render, render completed. 
Okay. Now if we go back to the browser, in the file browser we have a new file. So double click to open that. And when we play it, there is no difference compared to the other videos. But in this we do have the alpha information. To show that I'm gonna take this video into resolve. So I'm gonna drag this into resolve. Go to the edit section. So here we have a simple ramp and we'll be using that as the background. So I'm gonna drag this file in here to the timeline. And if you see over here, we have the alpha information. Okay, going back to Fusion. Next, I'll show you how to render out image sequences. So I'm gonna to go to this browse button, click on it. I'm gonna create a folder and call it image sequence. Double click on that and inside I'm gonna call it end.png and save it. Go to format and save alpha. Okay, so come back over here and I'm gonna click on render. Start render. Okay, go to the browser window. We have the image sequence. Sorry about the spelling. Now if I want to import this into any editing program or say resolve for that matter, I can come over here, browse from there and go into the image sequence, click and drag over here. I can go into the edit and click and drag it in here to the timeline. So we have the image sequence. So if I know that the work from Fusion is going into an editing system, PNG image sequence is really my personal choice of rendering for various reasons. For one, there will be minimum quality loss while exporting. Second is, in case of failed renders, we will not have to re-render from the beginning. That is it for this video. Leave a like, share and comment. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please press the red button below and press the bell icon for getting notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll see you in the next. Take care.